Well, folks, in today's video, we're going to be continuing work on the Vintage Hobby Town RS3. My goal today is just to pretty much do all the cosmetic work, you know, put all the handrails on, uh, add the truck covers, uh, everything else that it really needs. I've already uh, gone ahead and uh, installed some lights. I'm going to need to position these a little bit better, but they do work, so that's good to see. And I was able to get the drive working a little bit better since last time, so that's all good. Now, one main thing you'll notice is that I've repainted the shell. Uh, originally, I painted this thing orange because I wanted to do a great northern paint scheme. And uh, I kind of changed my mind on that because uh, it's a very intricate paint scheme. And uh, with the paint I was using, I just wasn't so sure it was going to turn out that great. Uh, so instead, I'm going to uh, uh, paint this thing into like a CN paint scheme, which I think is something which is a little bit more within my abilities. Now I know there's probably some Great Northern fans out there who are disappointed I'm not making this thing into a Great Northern locomotive, but don't be, because there's a bit of a twist to this story. You see, over the same time frame I was working on this locomotive, another Hobbytown locomotive came up on eBay and I bought it. Now check this out. And there it is. Can you believe this? I I was just searching on eBay and I found an identical locomotive in the Great Northern paint scheme and it just looked like a fantastic uh, job of one. So uh, I just had to get this thing. Now just like our uh, previous locomotive, it does need some work. Uh, the drive is in pieces. Uh, but all the parts I believe are here so we can get this thing back together. But now uh, we'll be able to have uh, two of these locomotives, one in the paint scheme I was intending to do, and a Canadian National one. I think that will be fun. Anyway, let's continue work on our current locomotive. So the first thing I want to do is install the truck side frames, which should be pretty easy. I'm just going to remove these two screws, pop the bottom off, and then we can just uh, screw them in. All right, well, that, in my opinion, is already looking like a million times better, so that's awesome. Uh, now let's get the uh, front and back on the locomotive. I've been trying to figure out what to do about the whole handrail situation for a while now and I've been uh, really unsure. I did save all of the original parts so things like this are going to be going back and uh, I did save the post but unfortunately there were a lot of parts missing so I think I'm going to have to come up with some sort of another solution. Now uh, some of you might have seen the video where I took apart that old AHM locomotive and I pulled the original handrails off of that. And it looks like they're a pretty good fit for this locomotive. You know, I don't know if it's perfectly realistic, uh, but sizing wise, it's right on the money. So um, I think I'm just going to install these. So we'll have the originals on the front, but we'll use uh, these on the sides. I think they'll look fine. Before we uh, go around installing the handrails, though, I think we'll just take off all of these parts and uh, we'll begin painting all of those and then while the paint dries we can glue all the handrails on because I don't want the handrails to uh, hold on to uh, any parts of the shell because then if we need to get inside this engine to do maintenance we can't. Oh by the way this part right here broke and I had to uh, replace it with uh, a little piece of uh, heat shrink tubing. It seems to work okay although I've broken two of them already so I might have to figure out a better solution for that but uh, yeah overall the drive seems to be okay. Now on a painting
Well, it is now some amount of time later, and I finally got all the handrails on this thing, got them painted up, and uh, I also uh, threw some Katie couplers on the locomotive, which I think look pretty good. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this project. I mean, you know, it uh, doesn't look perfect. You can see there's a bit of sheen. The, I guess the gloss of the paint didn't turn out perfectly or something. But you know what? I'm happy with it. It's a little rough around the edges, but that's okay. It's what I wanted. So let's take this thing over to the track and test it out. I think it uh, should look all right. I should note that this engine was running fine before we did all the cosmetic work on it. I'm just really hoping that all that work didn't do something to it and it still starts. But in any case, let's try it out. Moment of truth. Yes, it runs. Wow. It's so good to finally see this thing uh, running all decorated. Let's bring it back in the other direction now. Wow. You know, I know by a lot of people's standards, this thing is far from perfect, but this is exactly what I was hoping to uh, get out of it. Yeah, even the lights shining nice and bright. All right then, well, I'm, uh, I'm thrilled with that. Why don't we throw some cars behind this thing and let it uh, pull some freight around as it's meant to do. Ah, yes, there we go. And of course, there's even a Canadian National Caboose on the back, which I thought would be fitting. Now, let's take her for a spin. Well, it's doing it. Well, it's been about five minutes of running and this thing is still going strong. I uh, had to remove the Canadian Pacific car on the back because it kept derailing in a certain spot, but other than that, there haven't been any problems. The current draw, unfortunately, seems to have gone up a little bit since I last worked on it. This isn't too bad, but uh, either the added weight or those extra lights has brought it up a little bit, but uh, it's still below an amp, so it's all right. These things are not the most efficient to begin with. But uh, I'm absolutely thrilled, you know, this was an engine which we started with and it didn't run whatsoever. The cosmetics of it were terrible, like there was nothing functional about it. And now here it is roaming around the layout with a new coat of paint and uh, it's running like a tank. So yeah, I, uh, I couldn't be happier with it. You know, a scrap engine reborn. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed and with that, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching.